Hi guys, it's Harry, it's time back another video, and this has been about, <laughs> well, I think I looked, well, yeah, I looked a couple of days ago, and it was five months, uh, last video I posted was Easter Sunday, and I said many things, such as, I'll be doing my vlog of Smackdown Live, which actually, I still have the footage of, so I could post that, there's just some problems with it, like, the fact that I had to sneakily record, because, uh, in the arena, in the O2, because they was putting it on later in America, they didn't want spoilers to get out, or, don't know why, maybe, I'm assuming that's what it was, but they wouldn't let videos happen, so I sneakily do it and didn't get that much, but, um, yeah, and it's pretty old now, but I might just do it anyway, but as you can see, as I already said, I'm doing my No Mercy prediction today, I don't know if I've already said that, but I'm doing No Mercy predictions, and I'm rocking John Cena, the old John Cena t-shirt that I got for a fiver, and I had two t-shirts of people that are actually going to be on the show tonight, Roman Reigns and John Cena, um, that match is a pretty big match, you know, it's probably, along with Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar, probably going to be the biggest match of this entire year, and the reason I want to pick John Cena, because I do think it's going to be a passing of the torch moment, but anyway, I'll get onto that later, so now, <coughs> As I'm using my phone for this, I don't have any of the, the actual matches up, so I'm going to have to go off memory, okay? I'm going to try and go from what I see least important to most important, okay? Right, let's go. So now, on the kickoff show, we have Elias, who's recently come up from NXT. Well, not recently, but I'm just going to say that because I've missed five months of YouTube. But anyway, he's come up from NXT, where he was pretty much useless, a useless jobber, I'm pretty sure... Because I don't remember him doing anything, didn't win any titles, didn't really do anything, okay? That's all I'm going to say. But he's actually done a pretty good main roster, getting some good heel heat. But it's not really the heel heat you want. It's not like necessarily the, oh, I hate you, you're such a bad person. It's more the, go away, you're boring. But he does do the good uh, songs, which are pretty nice. And uh, he's facing Apollo Crews. He's a bit bland, joined Titus Worldwide. And, uh, yeah, that's doing all right because i haven't really got anything going for him now i think on the kickoff show today everyone else when i was watching predictions earlier has been saying that they think apollo is going to win most of the time but i think elias is going to win i don't see apollo cruz winning he doesn't really win well he wins but he's normally against uh, smaller people or like sort of squash matches but elias has actually got a purpose on the roster he's performing almost every week and he's quite entertaining so the win goes to elias now, the second match, and this match, I, I thought I was going to be excited for, and then I, I just sort of, the hype's gone like this, and then gone like this. And that match is Alexa Bliss spending a title, women's title, against Nia Jax, the person when I was excited for it, then Emma, who I also like, but it sort of ruined it for me, it's, uh, Sasha Banks. You know, just I, I like, but don't want to be there. And now even Bailey, who done nothing to deserve it, but for some reason got in it, which is just pretty fair, isn't it? Not well. In general, she's deserved it, but in kayfabe, she just sort of turned up, and now she's in it. So didn't really earn it in kayfabe terms, but you know what can you do? But anyway, I'm gonna say the winner of this match. At first, I'm gonna say Nia Jax, but now I have a feeling they're gonna do the uh, sort of. WrestleMania route, where they're going to take her out, and I think something something along the lines of uh, either, well, it's going to be either Emma or Alexa Bliss, right, I think, but what I reckon is going to happen is someone's going to do something, like Sasha Banks is going to do a bank statement or something, then Alexa will run in, throw her out, and then she'll steal a pin or something, and that's what I think is going to happen, Alexa Bliss wins the match. Now, Another match that is also on this show that I am actually quite excited for. Please accept this. But you know what? I don't really care because it's my opinion. I've enjoyed Jason Jordan. I for why would they break up American Alpha? Probably one of my favourite tag teams. But uh, right now it's paying off. Got Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. Two of my favourite wrestlers. Like one of my old favourite wrestlers, Shelton Benjamin. I used to love him. Him and, like, Kobe Kingston and CM Punk. I used to love them people when I was younger. 
and he's joined Chad Gable, and they're doing quite good. Hopefully, they can maybe have a run at the titles soon, or a singles feud, maybe. I think I wanted to do see maybe the White family route, Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt turn in the end singles feud. But anyway, I'm rambling on. Anyway, the match is Jason Jordan versus The Miz, and Jason Jordan's been built up massively recently. He's faced uh, John Cena. Roman Reigns, he's been put uh, everyone, he's doing really well. Now, he's taking on the Miz for the IC title, and I think that in this match, my boy Jason Jordan's gonna win. I don't know, but for some reason, I bought into the hype of just what WWE wants to happen, and for some reason, all of a sudden, I love Jason Jordan. I don't know why, and I love the Miz as well, but I just want Jason Jordan to absolutely destroy him. I, don't, I honestly don't know why, but Honestly, I want that to happen, and I kind of think it will happen uh, since Miz is due to have a baby in 10 months, I think, or 7 months. I don't know. Who knows? But he's due to have a baby. I don't even take that much time off, but I feel like that losing the belt now can sort of give him, the Miz, a little bit of time to chase it back. Maybe in Survivor Series, give Jason Jordan even a bigger win and that sort of thing, and then he can have a longer reign. And I just feel like it's the time they're going to do it. They've sort of put him against everyone in the roster that they can he necessarily face and not get the story like Braun Strowman, but also build him up. And it's sort of, we need something else now, so I feel like that's what's going to happen. Now, I'm still rambling on trying to think of other matches. Now, the other one I can think of is Shazaro, Seamus and Cesaro, team I like, versus... Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose and the Shield has been reunited. I've missed so much of this YouTube stuff. I've like I haven't been on it for ages, but yeah, they are coming back now and it is a match between them and the bar, like I've said already, Cesaro. And I think that they will retain the titles and that's what I want to happen. I do like Cesaro. I do like Sheamus, which I sort of go like this with Sheamus. But I do like Cesaro all the time. And at the moment, I'm liking Sheamus. But I do want, currently, Shield to win. I like the Shield. I want them to win. And I think they will. I think they're going to retain the WWE Tag Team titles of Raw. Now, I believe there's two matches left. I think I feel like I'm forgetting one. But if I forget this, then I'm sorry. And I'll just have to deal with it. Right? But... The other one, before the, no, well, I'm on the two most important ones now. Now, I'm going to say that this one that's probably going to be the main event, before the one that I'm seeing as my main event. Now, this should be a main event, but also my one should be a main event. But this one is Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar, and I love Braun Strowman. I keep saying in the video, I love this person, and I love that person, but I just love Braun Strowman. I don't know why. I like it for Jason Jordan, but actually I do know why, because he just goes around every time and just does something new and just destroys someone. Like a couple of weeks ago, Big Show, through the cage, busts the thing, throws Galissa around. He just, and that was ages ago, but I just love Braun Strowman. At SummerSlam, I was in Bulgaria actually, first time I've ever been abroad. Very nice there. But he put Brock Lesnar through two tables and then tipped one on him. He is a monster. He is the monster among men. And everyone must know that he'll be crushing Brock Lesnar. I know. You can see how good of a job that one year ago, Braun Strowman was really nothing in every people's eyes. And when they said he was going to go against The Undertaker, everyone was going mad about it. But now that it's actually coming to happen with Braun Strowman... Oh my god, I really want him to win, and I don't know if everyone knows this, I'm pretty sure most people do, but actually Brock Lesnar is scheduled for no more appearances his entire year, and I think this happened before, I mean, like with Chris Jericho, and then he appeared at Extreme Rules, that sort of thing, so it could happen, but I think that that's not going to happen, and I think Braun Strowman is going to take over from the dominant role that Brock Lesnar has filled, and he's already halfway to doing that, and I think this is going to be the time he does it. And he'll probably close the show like he did on Raw with a belt in his hand above everyone else. And that'll be very nice. But now for my main event. John Cena. Roman Reigns. The match that should have been a WrestleMania main event. Perhaps this is the start of it. But I believe that this is going to be the match of the night. 
We have seen, even though people hate on Roman Reigns, we have seen him put on some very good matches in the past. Think of it, AJ Styles, even at SummerSlam, he puts on mat good match off the good match, and you cannot argue with that. He is a quite a good, well, not even quite good. He is a competent competitor in the WWE, and as for John Cena, he has proved his pedigree over many years that he is simply the face that runs the place. And now. I think this is going to be the passing of the torch moment between John Cena and Roman Reigns. And I think Roman Reigns will win this match. Uh, I think no one can really argue against that. John Cena, no matter how good he is, he's getting old now. And everyone knows that Roman Reigns will be taking over. And I don't think this is going to be a good scene. But you know what? I just feel like... is it... I want to represent Cena because I don't know if this is going to be his last match. It, it genuinely could be. I know everyone would expect he's got a lot more to go, at least a couple of years, Summer Slams, WrestleMania, that sort of thing. And I'm sure he wants to do that as well. But this, I what I'm think this is going to be is the end of the John Cena as we know it, and the John Cena where he's the dominant. He is the person that, if you know, other than a heel, he is the dominant face. And I think they've been doing it for years with Roman Reigns, and they think that if he beats Cena who people sort of on the fence with and don't really like, then he can be pushed to the top and people will start cheering him. And that won't, that will not happen, but he will be going over the top. And I, I do like Roman and I like Cena as well, but I feel like that's going to happen. Now, I don't know if I've forgotten anyone and hopefully I haven't in any matches, but anyway, those are my No Mercy predictions. I may have a reaction video for it, but don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of my first video back in five months. But, um, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, I just checked, I forgot two. I'm going to say Bray beats Finn and Neville retains the Cruiserweight title. Guess that's the end then.